Whoa, something's burning. Something was burning on that. Well, that's burning, obviously. Hot stuff. Wireless transfer. I'm able to sort of uh, adjust my output by just moving the coil in and out this little region here. So I can kind of show um, the exact spot that it's at now. What it wants to do is teeter on breaking out, you know, just a little bit and then breaking out a whole lot more. Like, it sort of wants to step up in another gear, I guess you could say. Uh, and get a little better in tune once that breakout starts occurring. Uh, so this would be like a situation where if I brought my hand closer to it, that's what it would like. I would get longer arcs. So, 30 volts. You know. So very slight difference. It still sort of wants to reach out to the same extent, but it has more of a stable breakout length when I'm not getting near it. Let's go down a little more than that. Let's put it all the way down. So all the way down, I don't really get quite the same breakout. I'm going to put it a little bit higher than it was originally. With the primary right there, a little bit higher. Still get a little something to jump out, but that's what it wants to do on its own without uh, assistance. Yeah. See, we're getting to a point now, even though the breakout on its own without assistance is pretty small, it is starting to branch out pretty good you know, to the hand. You know, so the idea is where can I put the primary, what's the optimal place so it wants to give me pretty good breakouts, but also would I like to step out that little extra step further when I put my hand up there, which is about something like that, uh, <laughs> just very slightly lower, so you can see. Yeah, that little cap is doing a lot of work, and obviously you need a, a good uh, DC bus cap to really get the beef out of those. I haven't really pushed this beyond 30 volts yet because this circuit particular one wasn't designed for that. But what I like about this setup is I couldn't get I couldn't get those type of arcs from this circuit even at 25 volts. It just wasn't able to push the juice, um, and I was also kind of afraid to push too much with these little fets on this. Uh, little heat sink here so this was made to be like a small deal you know that's relatively small but not really anymore these days you got <laughs> you got coils this size putting out crazy arcs without this top load the primary needs to sit a whole lot lower and with it set up that way at that nine volts i actually got a really impressive plasma bush it was something closer looking like what i get from like 24 volts from my other circuits so i'm just noticing now that it's not able to do that with this top load with that primary however with that top load and the primary where it's at I get the longest breakouts so that's just a sacrifice I was willing to make but if I did take that off and I wanted to move that primary back down from that voltage man that thing pulls a uh, a wicked hot arc once again it turns out this basic drive you know just throwing a couple little caps on was able to get some pretty pretty damn good output there hard to see but that's pulling peaks of a couple amps doing that
Ooh. And think about it, that, uh, damn heat sink might be, look, heat sink might be getting a little warm now. Well, that's not too bad. So at 24 volts, let's put it at 23.7 uh, or whatever. Cut it up. See, it doesn't want to break out on its own. Try that again. Once again, it's sort of like at the uh, right at the at the edge of where it wants to break out. There you go. So when I cut it up to uh, 30, that's when you get that uh, obvious jump.